to make changes to Beaver Builder pages on a WordPress website. When you're logged into WordPress and you see the WordPress menu across the top, if there's a green circle next to Page Builder, that means that the Page Builder Beaver Builder is being utilized on that page. And to make edits to the text or headings, for example, you click on Page Builder, and this will open up the editor for Page Builder. What's important to notice is that when you're in the Page Builder editor, you'll see these helpful blue boxes that are showing the different components of the page. To make an edit to one of those elements on the page, you single click on the blue box area and you add your changes. When you're finished with your edits, you click Save to save that component of the page. Then, when you're finished with your changes, you need to click two more buttons. In the upper right hand corner, you click Done. And then you also click Publish, which will make the changes available to the live web page. Once again, to make changes to page builder websites, for example, from the back end of the dashboard of WordPress, you click on the page that you want to edit. And notice over here on the right, Page Builder has that green circle next to it, which means Page Builder is being used on that site page. You can either click Page Builder directly from here, or you can click the About page. You'll get the normal WordPress editor page, but you'll see that it says here Page Builder is currently active for this page. Launch Page Builder, clicking on that button will get you into that same editor view that we saw when we selected it across the top menu item on the page. Here we are again in the Page Builder editor where we could see the blue boxes that are displaying the different components of the page. You click, you make your edits to that component here. This is a heading that we're changing back to how it was. And then to finish, we click Done and Publish in the upper right-hand corners. This is how you edit pages with Page Builder.